What's up divas and what's up divas? So it's your girl April and this video is of course a hair video. This is not an Ally Express store, however, it is an international vendor and this is Brazilian Hair on Sale.com. So of course this is international. They sent me some hair and these cute little satchels with handles. Okay, um, they do have a lot of hair to um, shop on. So if you want pre-colored hair, then you can take a look at their website. They do offer that. So with that being said, I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, first of all, I did get a free case of lashes, strips. So I'm going to look at those in a minute. But first, I'm going to take out the hair and show you what's in this package. So first of all, I got these two cute little satchels. And I did get the hair right here. Um... Oh my god, I cannot remember the life of me. But I think I do believe this is their loose wave or water wave. Um, this first one is 24 inches. Now, do they have this bundled up so tiny, like tiny to the max? Okay, <laughs> I'll post all the information below. But I do have four bundles I have a 24, 22, a 20, and 18 and a 16 inch closure. So that's a little bit different for me because normally it's like two of the same lengths, but we're gonna work with that. So this right here is their loose wave. So unlike the last one I did, it was coiled just like this. This seems a lot more healthier. Um, the tracks are double wefted and the hair just seems a lot more healthy. It's not dry, it doesn't smell. It smells like hair, you know what I'm saying? It smells like washed hair. But it doesn't look too dark. It looks like it's in its natural color. It's like a medium dark brown. So the last hair that I got from AliExpress was like a black. But this one right here looks a lot healthier. So I think for this one, I'm going to be in the safe zone with. Their hair is like super affordable. Like I said, it's not an AliExpress store. I'm not really sure if they have an AliExpress store, but they do carry loads of different variety of hair. So if you want something that's already colored, you can simply get it from them. You really don't have to do a lot of work with it. So for the loose wave, so far, so good. It's looking like good. It's lustrous. It's not all dry at the end. So I'm really kind of like on the fence about the whole entire thing um it also came in this little satchel also which is cute so i got all these little satchels going on um and i do have the closure right here which is 16 inches baby and it's a reinforced side i normally like to get 16 inch closures because I know for myself, I don't like the hair so long in my face, so I really don't like to cut off too much of the closure. Getting like an 18 or 20 inch closure is really going to be a waste to me because I'll end up layering it. So I really don't want to have to take off too much, so I always basically ask for a 16 inch closure. That's just me. So as for the closure, it's more or less like a medium brown texture, or color rather, and the loose wave looks popping. It doesn't look dry um, or anything like that or limp so far so good but we will see once it's washed as for the knots they're looking decent i'm not finding anything out of place so far and we shall see how this works out you girls know i love loose wavy hair and that's just my thing um i love to do loose wavy um if i could do loose wavy all day long i would send me these little um this little tray of strip lashes which comes with 10 pair of strip lashes um which is great they're all actually the same so there's nothing different about them and they're really not full or thick but for those who do like a more natural look then these are really simply cute um they look like they're all natural hair fibers i for one will just give them to my daughter because i don't do the strip lashes but i think this is like a really nice touch because you get a whole tray of lashes and they're not plastic lashes and it comes with a top and little heart super cute super cute. And yeah stay tuned for the finished video of course So hey guys, so I am done with this creation of this loose wave hair. I do remember it being loose wave. So once I washed it, I'll be honest, it was wavy, like a loose wave. Some of the strands were not as wavy as I would like them to be. Like you girls know, I love loose wavy hair. But when it comes to loose wavy hair, it has to be loose wavy. Like to the extreme over exceed my expectations when it comes to wavy hair so there was a little bit of limpness in some of the actual waves so what i went ahead and did is i just used my spiral curler instead to 
give it a different style because I really wasn't too pleased with how the waves came out. Like I like it to be super full and this was four bundles. Like I squeezed every last bundle of hair on this unit meaning the tracks were super long and it was double wefted. But I was super happy about the tracks being so long because sometimes I've noticed like from different vendors, it doesn't have to be ones from Ally Express, but for my customers who send me hair to make them a wig, sometimes their tracks seem like they're extra short and then the tracks from Ally Express be kind of long. So I do like that and being that they were so long, I folded them in half just to squeeze all four bundles onto this unit. So. In reality, there was probably like three inches of hair left from the very last bundle because, yes, I will sew these tracks super close. So the tracks are really close, like basically darn near on top of each other. And that's just how I like my tracks to be really, really close. Sometimes I do space them. It all depends on the actual hair texture. Like for kinky straight, you really don't need them that close. But... For when it's silky texture, I like a lot of hair, so I will squeeze as much hair as possible. But other than that, when I did wash it, it did shed. Not a lot, lot, but I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, it shed like probably like a 4, 4 and a half. Nothing major like that. But like I said, the waves were popping. There was just some strands that were not as popping as the rest so I said you know what I'm just going to curl it now the closure I did tweeze the heck out of this closure um first of all I do like a curved part and this one is on the left but the hairs were so close that I had to tweeze it and I tweezed it after I concealed it with the concealer because that way you can see it a lot better and know where to tweeze it at so I did use my concealer my really cheap concealer first just to lift the color and make it a little bit brighter and then I will use a different concealer and as always I put combs in my units because I really just don't like my wig to be slipping back in public and then people see the line of demarcation which means where my wig starts and where my hairline starts I'm just really not into that so anyway other than that it's on a regular mesh dome cap by Q-Fit which I prefer and I didn't cut it I didn't layer it I just left it as is the hair is really soft and it took so good to the actual flat iron so I am or not flat iron but curling wand and the curling wand that I use is the sapphire eight in one irresistible me curling wand system which I am raving about and I absolutely love it so yes girls yes let's get on to the finished product of this hair or the finished video of this like major long like really super long like for real 
She is like super duper long. And I actually like it. So this time around with the curls, I just curled them in all different types of directions. I didn't kind of, I did not uniform the curls this time around because I just wanted it to be much fuller. So when you curl it backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, all different kind of ways, then the curls look a lot fuller. And as I was like pulling the curls out, ugh, I have one of the worst paper cuts right here on my finger. So, oh my gosh, it really hurts. Like, seriously, really hurts. So, I know you girls are wondering what I was using in the video, which is Strand Maximizer. So, I used to use Topic Hair Filler Fibers, but now I use Strand Maximizer. So, of course, the bottle is bigger, but the fibers are thicker. So, the application process is a lot faster, seamless, just a lot easier to do. So, I do like this stuff a lot. It does not come with the spray nozzle right here. You have to screw it on, but you have to purchase it separately and that's the same thing with topic they don't come with the spray nozzle it just comes with a sifter cap so my suggestion is to get the spray nozzle because if you don't you'll be sitting there with a makeup brush like forever doing it and it just makes it a whole lot easier so yes girls this hair actually turned out great it is a lot fuller than expected especially because of the curls so it depends on how you do the curls and like I said I went ahead and tweezed the part because I really need a part that looks more natural and realistic because I'm not good with the really skinny parts like I don't do the skinny parts because it just looks crazy they have like loads of loads of loads of hair on their website like all different kind of hair all different colors um, not a lot of closures to me because for all the colors that they have in the hair they don't have the closures to match which sucks and which made me kind of like down but you know it is what it is but yes, the hair is gorgeous. It came out really nice. Like I said, it wasn't as full or it wasn't as loose wave as I would have preferred it to be. But for the most part, it was loose wavy. But I just like my waves so popping and spinning to where I'm feeling like I am ashore or and I'm getting a little bit of seasick or not ashore, but it's something like that on a boat, wherever, and I'm getting seasick. And they really didn't make me seasick, but they made me see the waves but i really needed them to be popping throughout like i've gotten hair where the loose wave is so loose wavy but yeah so anyway i will post all the information for you girls below you can check out my website going with the windwigs.webly.com if you want a custom wig made or a video unit um which is wigs that were reviewed i will post that information for you girls below and as for the necklace that i'm wearing it was really inexpensive i think it was like two bucks on this website uh which i did a video review for so i'll have to remember to put that down below if i don't remember just make sure it's out it and as for the earrings those are from happiness boutique which i love their website so yes no layering no cutting i just left it as it is and it's absolutely cute like this so i will see you girls soon make sure you rate comment subscribe thumb this video up if you like it share it and as always stay diva and divalicious and i'll see you on my next video